Um, we kind of have some big news. We moved barns. We have this feed room, which has a nice fridge, and you'll see where I have to keep all of my supplements and things. And I also have their feed barrel in here. I don't like keeping it in front of their stall in case they do get out. I love having a feed room option. In case they get out, they do not have a buffet to go through, because um, that is very dangerous, and it does happen. So I like to keep it locked away from my pigs, their pigs. Walking out of the feed room, you enter the barn area and their two stalls are right behind me. This one in the front is Chester's stall who is begging me for some alfalfa right now. And then back here, we have Kite's stall. They both have doors that go outside into a nice big turnout pasture, way bigger than Chester's was at the old barn if you have watched my old content. There is also a cute, nice big wash rack for me to spray them off in and there are cross ties all down the hall for when i don't tie them to the trailer but before we move the boys into their new stalls we have to get a few things from the old barn first first thing we really need to do is get these stalls bedded and prepared for kite and chester so we went and got some of our pellets from the old barn we have already loaded all of the pellets to bed their new stalls into the trailer and where we are staying actually will let us store our alfalfa out there so it's time to get a few bales off of our back porch and into the truck to take over. We hired this person just for this. Be like, how do you have so much money? This Someone commented on a video <laughs> on um, the one, the arena record one, and their comment was, oh to be rich. And I said I hauled at the bumper pool with one fender for seven years. So, you know, <laughs> in good time. <laughs> Once we had that loaded, we headed off to the new barn. Here are the stalls. And then they have a door where they can go outside. Now I'm just showing you what the inside of these stalls looks like, where the fan is, and I love that they have mats. Now I'm gonna open the door and show you the nice big turnout pasture. There is also a nice big outdoor arena. Once we have the alfalfa bales brought in and situated, I start working on getting these stalls bedded. Right now, I'm just using pelletized bedding. I will probably end up putting shavings on top eventually, but this is what we are rocking with for now. So I throw them in the stalls how I want, doing five bags in each to start off with. Now we are going to soak and expand all of the pellets so they are nice and soft. They are moving in tomorrow night so the pellets will be nice and soft for them when we get there. I don't like just putting pellets that aren't soaked on mats because they kind of turn into roller skates. Um, I am speaking from personal experience on that one but also pellets were made to be soaked so that's why we do it. Maybe you'll get a good time lapse or two. I like to cut them all in an X shape. That way I can soak it all pretty evenly and then it's easy to just flip and dump out when it's fully soaked. Try not to cut towards myself <laughs> so I don't end up stabbing myself in the chin. Last one. Once I have them cut, I turn the water hose on and start soaking. I spray the top and then put some water in the middle to run down to the bottom to make sure they all soak evenly and they all expand. And I do this to every single bag in both stalls. Very cinematic. <laughs> and now, 
you get to just dump it out. And it's nice and soft and it won't mold. If someone told you it will, it will not because it's not airtight here, okay? Science, science. Didn't mean to block it. My camera's overheating, so we're running. Boom. And now I'm just gonna kind of kick it around and spread it out like that. Oh, that was a bad idea. Okay, it is the next day and the horses are moving in tonight after a little horse show. So today we're bringing some more little things over and mainly we are gonna walk the pastures, make sure there's no problems with any of the fencing and that there are no giant holes we need to be aware of. We also have this cute little area to put all of our supplements and things. Not that I feed a lot of supplements, but I do have a lot of things. So the first thing we're gonna add is six seed, of course. Not sponsored, but it could be. Getting the cobwebs. <laughs> Nasty. When we're walking the fences and checking the pastures, we're looking for any fence that might be down, any holes, anything that may have blown in there that doesn't belong in there. Just make sure we know everything about these pastures. Yeah, the camera's coming everywhere. It's part of me. And get anything out that needs to go ahead and come out and make sure they are safe for both the horses. These pastures are huge and very nice, so I am excited for the boys and they are really really going to love them there is plenty of grass and lots of space to move around checking out the little shelter for kite because kite might stay out here quite a lot yeah. they have fly traps in the tree <laughs> cute the night we got the stall set up the horses moved in it was rainy it was after a horse show it was a lot kind of all at once at like 11 p.m. so I don't have good videos of them moving in but they definitely seemed to be right at home as soon as they got here. We still had a few things to get at the old barn and see Zorro. So I got some buckets down from what was Kite's stall and dumped them so we could take them to the newborn. And then I sprayed off this feed barrel we haven't used in a while, if you um, couldn't tell, so that I could use it now for shredded alfalfa. So I de dusted it and de spiked it most importantly and then I filled it up with the shredded alfalfa to give to the horses especially if I ever need to make them a mash or anything and you can see I got it all over myself I threw it into the truck and we got some more pellets and then we went to our old trailer to get out our wheelbarrow this trailer is gonna stay here with some stuff in it and then I loaded the wheelbarrow up so I'll have it to clean stalls at the new barn but we did not let them out into the pastures just yet because it was late at night first time here I didn't want to just put them out and leave them out so now we get to show them the pastures kite gets to go take the giant one in the back and then Chester gets the smaller one in the front where he can go in and out I will be filming several routine videos for you guys so we will rotate the pasture some I will let you know all of that very very soon and they both loved the pastures kite immediately was just running around having the time of his life. Here are the horse's first impressions of the pastures. Chester, of course, went straight to eating and Kite did too, but he made sure to check out every single inch of this pasture and have some fun in the process. He 
also found some old hay and decided to roll in it, of course. And then when he got up, he kind of slipped around in it because he is very goofy. When Kite calmed down, they decided to graze right next to each other. So we let them out for a while, got them in, fed them dinner, and they had been in here for a little less than 24 hours. So I did clean their stalls so they would still be good for them. And while we are building their stalls up, I will be adding some pellets when I clean. But now that they're fairly built up, I will not be adding pellets every time I clean. I like to keep my stalls super clean so that it keeps the flies down and it's just so much better for the horses this way and with the pellets it's just kind of like cleaning a litter box so I sift everything out and throw it into the wheelbarrow in both stalls. I added one bag of pellets into kites and then two into chesters and Doug uh, got to soaking them, of course, to make them nice and fluffy. Chester also thought I needed some help, so he came in to just make sure before going right back outside. When I dumped the bags, this time I used the pick instead of my feet and it was probably a much better idea. And here's a look at those nice clean stalls. Now that those are clean, I take the wheelbarrow out to dump it and it is right kind of by the barn, not too far of a walk, but far enough away that it won't bother the horses. They both seem to be very happy here and enjoying it, so I cannot wait. I have a ton of fun content planned for you guys coming out very very soon I am gonna say if you know me in person or you know of me through someone in person that might know where we have moved it is not a boarding barn so it is definitely not open to the public so please do not share that information for my safety and more importantly their safety so I would love to keep it private thank you in advance please do not let anybody know if you somehow know where we have moved to. Zorro is staying in the big stall at the old barn now. He gets that huge, huge stall with a big old turnout. So he is very, very happy out there. And so we will pop in between some, but most of my content from now on will be filmed here. There will be way more animal friends on the channel. Probably there are several dogs, cats, and longhorns here. So that will give you some new fun faces to see. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that I'm giving away a breast collar and bell boots in this video right here. So make sure you go watch it to know how to enter. And if anybody contacts you, that is not me. It is fake. Do not respond. I will be the only one and I will be drawing it when I said I would be in this video. So make sure you go check it out and I will see you guys with a new video very soon. Bye.